Hey guys, welcome hey. to today, or probably this weekend, if I'm being honest. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we are starting the vlog off at the zoo, actually. Nova's at the zoo. What do you think? You see some bighorn sheep over there? So the zoo opened up uh, just this weekend and we decided to come because we are members and we, um, yeah, they have like all these protocols in place. They have like these little uh, follow me footprints everywhere uh, so you can keep socially distant and stuff. So I feel so far we've been here for like 10 minutes and it's feeling pretty good. There are barely anybody, any people here. So it's awesome. It's pretty good. And we actually, funny enough, as we were entering, our friends were exiting and we haven't seen them in ages. So that was kind of funny. the last time we saw them before the trip. It was like the end of January. Yeah. So well, pretty much everybody in our lives we can say that before the trip is when the last That's time true. We saw That's them. true, actually. Yeah. yeah. But Nova, that was the last time she saw her little friend Maven. So. Yeah. So it was good. Oh, there's a oh, little. Oh, Nova, look, we got a little gopher. We got a gopher. Where'd he go? Nova, what sound does a bear make? Ooh. <laughs> they haven't really worked on that one before. Maybe a really nice bear. I want to get in there and cuddle that bear so badly. Yeah, they are right here. Two big grizzlies. Just want to like get up and buy in there and just big spoon, you know? Okay, don't say that. What do you mean? <laughs> It's just a term. It just means I want to cuddle on the, you know, back. <laughs> this is why you don't invite me out on the vlog. Or to like public places. That's right. Isolation's been really good for me. <laughs> what sound does a giraffe make? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go over by that fence and you can see the giraffe really close. She wants to see the bird. <laughs> yeah, is that a bird? Tweet, tweet. How cool. She's independent. You're a big kid, aren't you? She likes to really, she really likes to push the stroller <laughs> and take all the snacks. snacks. <laughs> What's this? Snacks. Help yourself. Oh my gosh, that is our kid right there. <laughs> no kidding. They're going to be everywhere. We're going to be followed by a bunch of birds. Don't pick it up, please. Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Once it one. falls, it's done. Share snacks with mom. So this has actually been really good. I haven't felt like worried at all, it's been really good. You're snacking? Yeah, she's snacking, but she got her all over my face. <laughs> I didn't realize it was like such a wet, slobbery hand. <laughs> wow. So we're gonna start heading um, back towards the exit. We didn't spend too long here, I feel like, uh, because they had like the indoor enclosures closed off, so it was only access to like the outdoor ones, that you only really need a couple hours. <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna just kind of let her toddle on over. This is pretty cool. Oh, look at her. Aw. She goes and she like peers over. That's 
so cute. <laughs> Do you see the water? More, we'll, we'll do snacks after. <laughs> <laughs> guys it has been a few days since our zoo trip since we last filmed uh the past few days have just been kind of boring so we didn't pick up the camera hi sweetheart how are you doing today i am wearing the same outfit as um a few days ago but i have washed it in between not that it matters i would wear it even if i hadn't are you coming back around she's always doing laps around the island um, but I wanted to show you guys our amazing um, secondhand find that we uh, just got that we've added to the collection of toys for Nova Girl. Can you show everybody? Can you show everybody your new kitchen? <gasps> Look at your new kitchen. What do you do with this? What does that do? Good job. Now you can cook what you got in here. Some fish. So you probably recognize this little kitchen set. It is the... Ikea one and we have a little bit of food. We have this I just picked up at Walmart um, And then these like sets with some of this wooden food came with it and it's really cute It's perfect size for her actually because she's still such a little bean. You can see her on her little tippy toes Oh my gosh, I just oh so I was intending um, on getting this kitchen uh, for Nova and I told Caleb I was like I think we should try to get it from Ikea because I had been looking on Facebook marketplace and on um, different things and I hadn't found one come up for sale so I was like i had been looking for weeks so I was like let's just go get it fine we'll bite the bullet get it new um, which I always try to get especially kids like stuff like this i always try to get it secondhand or previously loved pre-loved i like to say um first if i can so i was kind of bummed um and i could tell caleb was bummed too because it's a big big drive to get to ikea and i was like okay you know what i'm just gonna try i'm gonna post on my facebook moms group for our like community and see if anybody has one that they want to sell and sure enough someone commented saying that they have one that we can just have so that really worked out for us for sure and that was so nice of them. We went and picked it up, I cleaned it all and everything and Nova has been loving it these past few days. Do you love your kitchen? Are you cooking in your kitchen? So I don't know what the moral of that story is but it's always worth asking. And we've also set up her table here with some paper and her crayons. These are her like baby crayons um, just so that she can like have more access to coloring she wants to. She's not big on it though, honestly. Okay. Let's pick a color. Do you want yellow? This is yellow. Let's hold it. And then we color. Do you want to do orange? Are you all done? All done. All done. <laughs> Good job, Penny. So last night I made a big batch of zucchini muffins. I made them like big size for Caleb and I, and then I also made like mini muffins for Nova. These are just such an easy, like quick, good snack, and she loves muffins of all kind so that's super handy and then i also have a big batch in the freezer and that way i can just take one out uh pop it in the microwave for a couple seconds and it makes the perfect snack are you enjoying some milk right now oh what's wrong look at your wacky hair hey nova's hair is blonde for sure it is coming in more and more blonde i feel like it has a little bit of a tinge almost a red in certain like lights in the sunshine and stuff. It's so cute. And what are you doing in mama's hair? Ready? <laughs> Nova is definitely a cuddle bug. She is also such a big mama's girl. Like 
This kid loves her mom. <laughs> Eggs. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Maybe a step higher. We'll Okay, we are going to head outside. I was hoping that we could play in the water table out front there, uh, but it's just a little too windy. So we're just gonna do like a quick little walk. Um, I'll probably leave the camera here though. It'll be pretty quick. Uh, Nova does not enjoy the wind, <laughs> but this gives us a chance to just get outside. She's getting a little cranky and I think she just, like she is a kid who loves to explore and needs to get outside. So we try to do that every day, even when it's, not great weather but of course being in Canada you just have to do what you got to do and sometimes that means putting on a sweater <laughs> Shoes, <laughs> yeah, okay. Thank you. Another rock. Did you find a rock? Okay. One step, two steps. Nova is my little bookworm. Anytime she sees like a book laying on the ground or anything, she just like goes to it and starts reading it. It's the cutest thing. So we just had a little bit of lunch and we've come up here to play, to read a little bit before nap time. She'll probably go down for a nap in like 20 minutes. I literally use like the different levels and rooms in my house to like switch things up and provide more entertainment for her because if she's like getting bored with her toys downstairs, we're like, just come upstairs and try up here and then vice versa. But if you guys saw my Insta stories the other day, you would have seen my little try on haul. This romper is from Jackson Lennon. It's a Canadian company. They're like a small shop. So comfy, like it's just the most beautiful material. And then I got a few other things, um, one of them being a dress for myself uh, from Prairie Wilds, which is another Canadian company, and a shirt, and, and yeah, so it was nice to spoil myself. And I really like this, I think it's so cute, and just super comfy. But I've been meaning to ask you guys about this random question. Do you see the little like lines or stretch marks? Let's see if I can get it better. There, you can see these like stretch marks on my arms. I think that they're from holding Nova. I saw someone else post about this a few, like six or seven months ago or something and I thought, oh, that's interesting. And then I've recently started noticing about myself that I have these just on this arm, not on the other one. Um, but I think it's like the skin stretching from holding Nova like on my hip. So I don't know, I thought it was kind of interesting. Just another one of those like mom tiger stripe type things. So. Let me know if you have that on your arm or if you've ever noticed. Maybe you're gonna literally look at your arm right now and be like, oh, I do have it. Let me know, I'm curious if that's like a common thing. And now she's moved on to another book. She honestly could just happily look at books for so long. Oh, and ducks. Ducks are her favorite. She brings this everywhere, like in the car, everywhere. But speaking of books, I've been talking with Nova about her embryo adoption story more and more. This is one of the books that we have. And I have just been kind of like practicing like how I'm talking to her about it and like the words that I use and stuff. And I've told you guys about this before that I just wanted to, like even though she doesn't understand, I just want to start now um, so that she is just always a part of her life and always a part of her story. What are you looking at? the light so I've been doing that a lot usually um, with our bedtime routine and just kind of like talking to her about where she came from and how special she is say so you're ducky he say ducky do you want to look at this story this story talks about how you came to our family how Nova de Langford became mama and papa's baby girl Mr. and Mrs. Cupcake were as sweet as could be, but one thing was missing a baby, you see. So they opened up the pantry, but much to their surprise, they had no ingredients, only empty bags inside. Did you know that you are so special? Before you were in Mama's tummy, you were just this tiny, tiny, tiny little embryo. You were so small. And Mama and Papa? 
yeah you want more <laughs> they wanted mama and papa to be parents and to have a family and then mama and papa went to the doctor and you were just this tiny little embryo and guess what oh <gasps> guess what the doctor helped us so that you could be a mama's tummy <laughs> well obviously she's a little distracted right now but uh, basically yeah I've just been talking to her more and more about her story it feels really good to talk about like it feels really good to I don't know I don't know how to explain it but it's really special and I pretty much tear up every single time I just think that her story is just so beautiful and so special and I hope she's always proud of it and I think it's just my job to show her how proud I am of her story so that um, I'm able to kind of lead by example. You're just being wacky now, huh? <laughs> Anyways, that's a little update on that. She is, of course, still a one-year-old, so as she grows up and as she wants to, you know, ask more questions and get some more info about all of it, the battery died, so I just went and grabbed another one. Uh, but the gist of what I was saying is that as she grows and matures and as she can understand more, the narrative will for sure expand. And we plan to just like follow her lead on it. That's your book. This one's your book too. This one has oh, Bedtime for Nova. That's your one of your favorites. This is like the customized book. We read it almost every night. She loves it. Um, she thinks it's so fun that it says her name. Wow. All around the farmyard, tucked in nice and tight. Sleepy, weary babies, we're ready for the night. I will link this uh, embryo adoption book down below if you're curious. There definitely aren't a lot to choose from, um, but this one is pretty cute. It's pretty simple. Well, I think we're going to end the vlog here. Just going to spend this time before nap time reading uh, with Nova, as obviously that's what she wants to do. And then work during nap time and then hopefully spend some time with Dada when he gets home. So thank you guys as always for watching today's video and for supporting this channel. It just means the world to us. So we're so grateful to have you here and we'll see you in the next video. Bye they're in love now, and I wanted you to know.